Hey guys, and welcome back to Minecraft. My name is Twitch here. We are back on my publicly available server, and today I've got myself a little bit of a new project. In the city here, we've got ourselves a road that runs down at the very edge of the uh, of the water here. We call it the promenade. It's where the vast majority of shops are. But if we carry on in this direction, I figured out a little while ago that it actually makes its way over towards my area. If we fly up in the air, uh, we can see there is a trail of wall blocks that goes off and over this way. I kind of wish the server was loaded a little bit faster than uh, this so that we could then uh, see that it trails off over this way uh, towards Lake Pizzazz. This is this is where I uh, misaligned and Red Lego live over here. Uh, of course, we've also got Mad Frank in the corner. This is the place where I've been making a lot of work, but recently I've been trying to put in a road running from the end, which is all the way, well, from the stronghold, which is all the way over there, and trying to make my way back towards a town. It's been a fun little journey where we've been coming along and just making a bit of a rust path through here and of course the path has been getting a little bit more industrial as we've been getting closer and closer to the city we've got actual stone being put down across a, uh, a cliff ledge there uh, but today's project we're going to define the edge of the city or at least the one edges of the city as we leave all of the tall buildings behind we get our, get our way to the spaceport here two shuttles some fuel tanks we've got a terminal a little gate system over here but I feel like as we travel along this way we uh, uh, I think there's Minutes House over there. Uh, we uh, can come up here, and I've been I've been having my eye on this area, and indeed this bridge in particular. And I think this might be the city entrance, the city gates, if you will. We can have like some sort of ID scanning as the uh, as the people come past and through and in. Uh, and then over here, we got like gate cops, right? There'll, there'll be like a border patrol of some situation, and that that's what I want to do right now. Normally I do all my segments in the daytime and without shaders on, but oh, will you just look at this? I think this has definitely hit a certain style here. City Gate Patrol. That's what we've built here. We've built a little guardhouse for the city gate over here. I'm going to turn my shaders off now because having like all of that loaded as well as having the shaders running as well as recording was getting a little much. I could feel I could feel a little bit of a frame rate drop. But with the rising of the sun, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually get into the bed. Let's uh, let's clear all of this weather out and let's go for a little bit of a tour around uh, now that I've got little posts out the front here because of course I, I tried my, my main overarching theme for this city is like a real Minecraft city. Not a real life city in Minecraft, but a city that people in Minecraft would use. So these are like for your your horse, your llama, your mule, your pig, your whatever. You, you, you can leash it up to the side here and think that it's relatively safe. Uh, you come inside city gate. I, I couldn't get city gate patrol on this space here. We just ended up with city gate pa. And uh, it, was, it wasn't really doing the job. So you, you come inside and you've got yourself a beautiful little office space here. You expect to be met by some sort of sergeant over here. Got the uh, soul lanterns at the top looking pretty nice. A water source. The uh, obligatory dead plant because no one cares about it. The bench that's really uncomfortable in the side of these places. Uh, we got like, well, if it's the sergeant here, I, I don't know. I, the constable? I don't, I don't know. Whoever, whoever's out the back here, uh, he's got himself a little desk uh, calendar. I love my little calendar. I think it's great office furniture in the background. Uh, this is like the dispatch room, you know. Someone, someone's run the gate, and they, they, they've got to get out and get after them. You've got your, your armor, and of course your, your door opening up here. A uh, lot of mechanics to make that work. So of course, around this side, we've got ourselves. Oh, what's this? A basement lock. Oh, I mean, I wonder I wonder where we would find a key to the basement. Uh, I'm going to come inside and, you know, just sh shut the door to keep that all tidy. I thought long and hard about whether to put a button on the outside, but I was like, no, no, a, a, a police station, if you will, would be manned at all times. So we got our office furniture here and uh, a basement key. Ignore the empty space all around it. It was just so the basement key would end up in the middle after what 
is about to happen happens uh, so we take the basement key out and around the side here down into this kind of dingy little area uh, drop that in and of course the door opens yeah I I, I can I can redstone I can I'll hold a door open uh, this is the the item filter that does that drops down and uh, you can you can kind of count how many let's go stand in here how many people have been through the door uh, tested it three times already I, I was gonna make that automatically go all the way back but oh man it's it's quite the distance. The original door concept for this was uh, by FedEx Gaming, uh, but I had a look at their tutorial, and whilst like this whole section on top here with a triple piston extender was a beautiful solution, the triple piston extender they had underneath was a terrible. So I did a little bit of research. Brajeff uh, made this nice little tileable version here. I thought that was nice, so I stole it, uh, and it does a great job reaching all the way up there and pulling the door all the way down. Maybe not quite as like smooth as I. I would have liked it the closing is much better than the opening but ah, that that that's great that's wonderful use of technology there uh, and then when the door opened up the uh, the basement door a little piece of redstone signaling got sent out over this way and hopefully bam we've got a new basement key for the next person who wants to come along oh it's almost like an adventure map almost almost <laughs> The thing that I'm considering that I haven't actually got covered at the moment is what happens if someone comes along, takes the key, and doesn't go through the door, doesn't find it down there or something. Uh, I, I guess what I want to have is some sort of something that detects whether the basement key is there, and then if a new daytime happens, pushes a key up if it's not, something like that. I'm not sure about that. We're going we're gonna to leave it for now. If it becomes a problem, it'll be a problem. Creeper on a hill. So I've spent some time adding some decorations outside here. I think this is like some sort of automated scanning on your way into the city. Like, then they're, they're not going to stop you. They're not going to question you. You're, they're just going to scan your implanted chip, right? That, that's exactly what's going on there. Uh, we've got a bit of a, a dingy side here. We've got somewhere for people to, to you know chill underneath the bridge uh, we'll have a look at that properly in a second over this way uh, we've got a future business moving in maybe llama trading L llama shipping sorry not llama trading that, <laughs> that 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 would be fine that you can have different types of llama but i think llama shipping would make more sense here because it's so close to the back end of the the airport that you could just bring your llamas up and through right uh, I, i've paved all around the edge and what is this i don't know it's more of the idea of a thing than an actual thing at the moment i <laughs> i need some gadget or some doodad or some you know some generator a radio shack a, a, a thing there needs to be a thing here and I, I haven't quite figured out what would look best so i've just put some blocks down to remind me to do that uh you saw this 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 is just a, a really you know it's broken right but it's a way up if you fall onto the flat piece here which also needs to be filled with you know electronic doodads and such forth uh i was going to come all the way over here now obviously this started off at quite, as quite a lush wonderful hillside and I've turned it into uh, a muddy bank if I get up on top I made it quite a, a muddy bank but I, I feel like this is more edge of the city I I, ooh, that, that's too much zoom that's too much zoom I really like what I've done with the bridge supports here uh, I put I originally put down the wool the white grey and oh well light grey and, and grey uh, just as a template I was just like right I need to need to mark out some directions I've just noticed all of these guys over here maybe we'll think about how to light this area up that's what that's what this is about it's totally not another homeless encampment but the, the city's full of them but that that's fine the mark of a thriving economy right <laughs> You can also see I've done things like an aerial on top of the patrol house. Let's just fly on up here. I've also got all sorts of like ducting and some solar panels on the go. It, these, these things just, just tailor made for being solar panels and uh, andesite wall with smokers and blast furnace. Look, look, looks the part, really does the job, uh, especially when you're just flying overhead. Let's, let's get the view of that. Ow. Let's get the view of that. You know, just when you're flying over and looking yeah that that that's perfect that looks like a whole bunch of utilities to me uh but i, I think we're done here uh, well i mean for the moment obviously we need to make the llama shipping but i, I want to do something else for the next part of today's episode 
With an eye to finish this base and move on for 1.20.1, there's a few tasks... Hello, Mr. Enderman, how are you doing? Also, that really hurt. I didn't quite mean, quite mean to do that. There's a few tasks that are remaining to be done, and one of them, of course, is my armor trim collection. Oh, I've got I've got an Endermite under the floor. Don't don't worry about that. Uh, there's a few around here. Some will be harder to get than others, like the, the fortress armor trim would be uh, fairly difficult. The stronghold one is the one that I've really got my eye on right now. Right now of course there will be some that just i just need to go out and explore finding the jungle temple one will just mean finding a lot of jungles uh finding the elder guardians will just mean exploring for the elder guard for the water temples uh the, finding the shipwreck one actually will be more interesting than the others I, I won't just be like flying around aimlessly i will actually be looking for something for something relatively common uh these two very difficult very difficult ancient cities so we, we need to go through and find those but as i say right now i've got my eye on the strongholds i of course right now have a ample supply of things like things like ender pearls and blaze powder unfortunately i mean i i do have it but it doesn't quite flow like water i do have a bunch of rods here that i can turn into eyes of enders okay I'll, I'll just take all of those that's fine we'll go and get some more at some point oh good it's raining that makes it a lot easier to show but if i launch them from here uh, i live just the way down from the stronghold uh, i forgot to put bobby back on to play decked out i need to take it out of my mod list because it only loads a certain number of chunks uh this this is the structure that we use to farm enderman and that that box right there takes us to the stronghold. I don't want this one. Uh, I, I want one of the other two that are in the first inner ring. Now, there's a, a special way that strongholds spawn. Uh, if you think about the spawn city, uh, and you draw a ring about 2,000 blocks away around the spawn city, these will spawn in there. I should, I should go down and actually show you the, uh, the stronghold. All right, nice, nice long stairway down here. We're here. We've got the connection to the the Nether and, of course, Stronghold. Uh, so I, I need to go and raid one of these places for the Spire Eye template, not the Spire one. Uh, and uh, this one already been really emptied. So we need to go and check the other side of Spawn City. I, I'm kind of happy with the radius that people could see, just just like vanilla. This there's no no excess being loaded here. That's that's cool. And the server's not struggling. We've got three people on at the moment, though I do believe those two are playing together. Just cruising through Spawn City. Once again, the Elytra and Riptide combination. Really the winner for exploring here. Okay, so I need to travel, I don't know, let's let's say 2,000 blocks in this direction. We're already at 500. That is pretty cool. Uh, of course, we're probably going to find out that somebody has already been around here and looted, or at least found them. Let's go that way. I, I really need to land to do this. I can't, I can't be moving. I'm sure there are pros out there that can do it whilst on the move, but not me. Which, which way did that go? Oh, over that way. Okay, cool. It's away from the last one, so that, that that's good. That's good. Okay, next throw. I've just come from over that way. It would go that way if I'm still on course. I'm, I'm still on course. Okay. Just hop in a couple of... Oh, backwards this time. A couple of hundred blocks at a time. Oh, I broke. That. That's poor. Poor show. But it's it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. So, somewhere around... No, his, his way. Wait, wait. Let's, let's take a gamble. What do we reckon? Are we going to get ourselves... Yes. I wasn't out here for the coast armor, but I, I, I will take it. I will take it. I was just looking into the big hole for the uh, the stronghold, and oh, it'd be a shame to just leave those guys behind. I am kind of full of stuff, but I'm quite willing to let go of some nugs. It's probably going to be dangerous down there. Let let let's go have a look, and maybe if we're lucky, we'll get to see a stronghold as well. Okay, he hello, hello. Um, I, I should look around, but actually, I'm just going to be greedy. And grab these. It's very dark down here. Very, very dark. I see something over there, but I don't think it's anything to worry about. More importantly, I don't see a stronghold anywhere. Okay, all right. I have had a, a quick look around. I think I'm just going to leave. It's safe. Nice. 
Okay, so I just followed the Ender Pearl from that coast to that coast, and then it pinged me back this way. So I ran off to the side and did a throw this, uh, did a throw, and it went this way. That's that's a really sharp angle. It it must be like right here, like right right here. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I've got I've got a water bucket on my hot bar. I've got an Ender Pearl in case I can just get myself out of any situation. Nothing to worry about. I don't think this is it. Let's carry on. Do we do we see it, actually? Wait. No. 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 Okay. We're ca carrying on down. I mean, it's providing a little a light to, to the darkness, to the depths. So I think that that's fine. We're doing a service to the server, really. What what are we going... Oh. Oh, I recognize these bricks. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. That's what we want. Now, the real question is... Did I bring enough torches to light this place up? <laughs> I've got some torches, but I've just realized I don't have my ender chest with me. What an oversight. If I find some obsidian, I could probably make some. Make, yeah, make make a, make an ender chest, but uh, un until such times... Ooh! Oh, oh, someone's very much been here, haven't they? Oh, oh, no, we found... Uh, I, I totally thought this place would be looted. I came in here and had a look, and actually, we're, we're doing okay. Loyalty 3, nice, look at that. I badly, badly need to find myself an ender chest. Okay, so I found... Ooh, <laughs> that was close. Uh, I found the... Uh, the portal that's cool we're going to be having far too many silverfish spawning here okay uh one one of them great that that that's really cool uh i'm gonna let this flow as well i think it's important if the other members of the server don't disagree i think i have plans to turn this into a sand slash concrete duper i i, I think that'll be something cool to do i don't know what we're going to do about that are we gonna are we gonna make use of the the silverfish? I don't know. What I do know though is that I am out of torches, and this place still needs to be raided out. Wait, it's fully lit. How did how did that work? Wait, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> what light level to sil? Well, okay, all right. We're gonna get rid of it. <laughs> Unfortunate, and maybe with the third one in the ring, we'll turn that into a silverfish cannery, and then I don't know what we'll do with the blocks. There, I don't think there's a way to make them drop, but we can push them around with pistons. Okay, I've got the coordinates for this place. Now I've stolen the obsidian from down there. I need to try and make a workbench maybe like get my get my ender chest up and running so i can empty my inventory and maybe get some more torches i do have these soul torches but they're not the best for lighting stuff up with okay this place is an absolute maze but i think i have indeed been everywhere now the real question is can i run myself back to where i came in I don't know. There's a lot of these areas that just lead up. Yeah, I've been here. This is a dead end. There's a lot of these areas. These are uh, these these pillar st spiral staircases. That's the one. They seem to separate like huge areas off from each other, and it's uh, it's definitely been a bit of a mission to try and keep this place straight in my head. The uh, the the loot has not been amazing. And I, I last time I came through here, I left that because I didn't think it was good enough. Oh, it was right. It, it, I I literally just walked out of this door and it was right here. Okay, that that that's good. Uh, am I gonna be able to make my way all the way up here? Not with what I've got on me, but I can just firework my way up. Yeah, li little spin halfway through and uh, we're we're free. Okay, absolutely cool. So we got the eye pattern from the stronghold. I like the pauldrons. I dislike the middle bit. The eyebrows are pretty cool and the, uh, the trousers are okay. And then over here we got the coast and um, I mean it's an armor trim that exists. It's got lines on it. Yeah, that that that's cool. But I think with that I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where we've got a whole bunch of more smithing templates to go get and of course there's an entire road to be built. So I'll see you then or when we're gonna do that. Bye.